Hello and welcome to Bias Bash. I'm Lauren Green. In the center square today is Judith Miller, Pulitzer Prize winning investigative reporter and author and Fox News contributor. Welcome, Judy. Good morning. Well, the president last night of the executive action on immigration reform, big speech last night. Let's just play a little bit of that uh, speech to uh, set this up. Take a listen. Amnesty is the immigration system we have today. Millions of people who live here without paying their taxes or playing by the rules, while politicians use the issue to scare people and whip up votes at election time. All right. So your reaction to what he just said? I mean, he, he says the amnesty, you know, is the immigration system we have today. Millions right. of people here without paying their taxes, and you know, whip up votes at election time. What's your reaction? Right. Well, of course, in a very short 15-minute speech, that's short by Obama standards. He's going to make these political points. He's going mm -hmm. to try and point out that this is a political issue, but it's also a moral issue. I think what was astonishing to me, Lauren, is that the three major networks of this country did not cover that speech. Fox News covered it. Mm -hmm. All of the other cable news covered it, but not the three broadcast networks. Now, whether or not you agree or disagree with the president's position, that's simply unacceptable. Now, one of the reasons I heard about the networks not carrying this is that they did, uh, they said the White House did not request time. But the, they don't, he, the White House doesn't have to request time in order for the networks to broadcast, right? Exactly. And not only that, but we all know the real reason why they didn't run the speech. Unpopular. No, not even that. This is sweep sweep. Ah. So the ratings, the rates that they're going to be able to charge their advertisers is being set right now by who's watching what. And none of them was going to take the chance of turning to the President of the United States for 15 minutes. <laughs> I would say let's reconsider their broadcast licenses because if you can't, you can't free yourself up mm -hmm. from whatever else was on last night for 15 minutes, there's something wrong with because our system. Because when there have been extenuating circumstances during sweep, sweeps weeks, that's like an asterisk in the Nielsen <laughs> column, right? right? You can say, well, this happened here, so you can't really judge by right. this particular evening. None right? of them was going to take the chance, and as long as they all did it, they feel they have political cover for what's basically a commercial decision, and I think it's hugely unacceptable. But in the aftermath of this speech last night, what, how, did the, how did the networks actually deal with it? Look, I think everybody's been covering it. The issue is, what have they been covering? Mm -hmm. Have they been covering the procedure? And the likely political impact? Yes. Have they been covering the substance of what the president said? Not so much. And it's not as if, oh, he just announced it last night so we don't have time. No. We've been having leaks about what's in this bill now for over a week. So we've had time as media, as reporters, to answer questions like, okay, if we can't deport these people whom the president has now covered, mm -hmm. This does not make them citizens, correct? Right. What are the legal distinctions? What are they eligible for or not eligible for? For example, can they get work permits? Does mm -hmm. what the president's done affect that decision? We haven't seen so much coverage of that issue. Or another one, if you're a pregnant woman about to give birth, are you covered? Well, it turns out the Washington Post today dealt with that issue and said, no, you're not, because you have to draw the long line someplace. And the president didn't want to encourage women who are here or undocumented to go out and have children to be covered by the law. So in other words, there's a lot of substance that the media could have been sub uh, covering. Mm -hmm. We're not because we love the politics. We love the procedure. But in politics, it's an old saying, if you're covering the procedure, you've already lost. <laughs> <laughs> but so what is the next step? I mean, they were talking about can Congress and the president work together, but it doesn't sound like they can because uh, House Speaker right. Boehner came on this morning. And how do you deliver this kind of speech and then expect us to work together? Right. Well, the Republicans, as we all know, the only thing we can all agree on is that the Republicans are furious. And I think rightly so, because the public has spoken in terms of the midterms. It's true. Only one third of the American electorate, electorate turned out to vote, but still the the their votes were pretty decisive mm -hmm. so yes if you're a republican you're angry at what the president's done the issue is the republican party is so divided will they be able to come out with a single coherent response to what the president's done and the betting is way out on that the wall street journal ran a very interesting article today about three possible responses mm -hmm. from the republicans and one of the uh, responses which was deemed to be the most potentially productive, which is offer your own bill and get it passed. That was also deemed to be one of the least likely. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. Judy Miller, thank you so much thank for being on Bias Bash. If you want to uh, 
Hear more media analysis on this topic. Catch Media Buzz with Howard Kurtz, Sundays at 11 a.m. Eastern, and again at 5 p.m. Eastern on the Fox News Channel. Uh, we have not heard the last of this yet. Of course, we have we'll definitely start a whole not, new Lauren. week with probably more <laughs> right. analysis. Thanks Absolutely. so much. Absolutely. Thanks Thank so much for being on Bias